Alright, it's 6pm on Saturday. I've heard EA released new consumables into packs because they've listened to community feedback. We are getting somewhere, people. Hallelujah. Let's go, EA. The following consumables will now be added into packs. Head. Allows a player to have a head. I mean, yeah. Allows a player to have a left leg. Right leg. Allows a player to have a right leg? What is this? Lungs. Allows you to breathe for 30 minutes whilst playing Ultimate Team. What? Me? Hang on, packs only be purchased with FIFA points. Hang on, but I haven't got any. I said, get the credit card. FIFA points. <laughs> All right, guys. Before we get into this video, I want to talk to you about FootTrading.co.uk. It's a website run by myself and V273, where we help you guys to make millions of coins on FIFA every single month. I know you guys mentioned that I talk about it a lot in my videos, but the reason for that is. The website helps allow us both to be full-time and it means I'm able to bring out three, sometimes four videos a day on YouTube because I can pay for an editor and give those who can't afford the website um, as many trading tips as I possibly can do. £10 a month gets you access to Tier 1 which gives you buying and selling prices for silver cards, special cards, icons and Thursday flips. Tier 2 is £15 a month. It includes all of Tier 1 and access to live filters, our Chemstar area which is extremely effective right now. Hundreds of thousands of coins being made every day from there and our fluctuation area where we monitor the market for lows and highs, allowing you to make as much coins as possible. So make sure you check it out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications so you never miss an upload. I upload three times a day. Morning League SBC method to glory usually. Evening video is usually a trading video and the midnight content is usually the content we get on the game at 6 p.m. But I don't know where this video is going to go. It all depends on the content EA drop. It may be a midnight upload. It may be a morning uh, video. League SBC method at the moment is just a little bit difficult because I've invested into a lot of uh, Bundesliga Silvers because it's too good an opportunity to miss. Uh, but League SBC method to glory, glory the like, grind on that. All of that will be back in the next couple of days. Um, once I sell Bundesliga Silvers, I've got a million coins worth to sell. And with that in mind, we are talking pre-investments today in terms of making double, triple, quadruple your profit back on cards from League SBCs. You guys have asked for this video a fair few times, so I thought I would bring it out now and give you guys the best opportunity I can to help you make coins. Um, make sure you smash, 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 smash. Make sure you smash the like button on, on this video. We're trying to get like 100 likes a video at the moment. The YouTube algorithm relies massively on likes. I don't really know why, but it is what it is. So if you can like the video, it makes a huge difference. If you can comment down below, let me know what you guys are doing on the game at the moment, what you guys think of Headliners so far. I do like interacting with you guys. And as you guys know, I try to reply to every single comment I get. But you may be sitting there thinking, Fuzz, you told us to invest in all these Bundesliga Silvers and they're not going up yet. They are up now. They're starting to climb bit by bit. When we bought the Bundesliga Silvers, what happened was on the Thursday, some people opened up their marquee matchups and the New Year's packs. And we got silver supply, so it held the market down. And then Friday, the people that held their packs also pumped loads of silvers onto the market. The silver stayed down low. But they are starting to rise now. You've just got to be patient and you will see very, very good returns from them. So if I show you, for example, this... Let's go with Kemp. I think this is this guy here. I paid 1500 That was the maximum I wanted to pay for Stuttgart centre-backs. As you can see now, cheapest on the market is 2000 him. So we've got profit on him, but we will not be selling him for a little while yet. Uh, he's got quite a decent amount of rising to go. If look at Hack, for example, the Mayan sent it back again, 1,500 coins of max I paid. He's also up at 2,000 coins. And over the next day or two, these cards will start rising in price bit by bit by bit by bit as more people do the Bundesliga SBC and take cards off the market, which we will then list up and sell for big profit. So just be patient. It will happen. You'll make a lot of coins. But now what we want to talk about is, we, you've seen it happening with the Bundesliga. We've seen it happen with the Serie A. Let's start talking about the other leagues that are due to come. And by that, we're going to talk about two major leagues specifically, and that's the Premier League and La Liga Santander. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying, can you help us find the cards um, or tell us the cards that we need to be buying? Now, I'm going to show you how you can do it. I'm going to show you, look at three teams from each league. But I also want to give you guys the tools to be able to go out and do a lot of this stuff yourself so that you're not having to rely upon someone else to t tell you all the time. You've got some knowledge of trading in your head and you guys can make some coins very, very easily. So we're going to head over to Footbin. I'm going to show you some teams. I will be right back. All right, guys, so here we are on Footbin. And all I've done right now is go uh, players here, FIFA 21 leagues and brought the leagues up. And the two leagues we're looking at are the Premier League and the Liga Santander, which was on the other page. Now, when we think about how we're going to invest in these cards, especially with silvers, we need to be thinking about teams that are, you're going to have to use silvers in them to make profit from them to be able to get, to, get, to get the maximum amount of coins back that you want from them. 
So when we do that, I tend to look at the teams that are newly promoted into that league. So the teams that come up from the second league in Spain and the teams that come up from the championship in, the, in England into the Premier League because a lot of their players aren't going to get significant rating boosts and a lot of their players are going to be silver. So that in mind, let's start looking at La Liga, for example. Now, one of the teams in La Liga we're talking about right now is Cadiz. I think they came up last season. I'm pretty sure they did. If we look at their team here, they only have two goal players. One is a striker, one is a centre midfielder. Everybody else is silver, and that's where the most expensive teams in League SBCs tend to be. The only thing that offsets this is if EA say to you, you only require six on that team, it will hold the silver prices down. But you can cover that off by buying as low as possible. Now, when you're buying these players, you need to be thinking about the safest investments you can make. First thing to think about is all you really need to do right now is buy one of these players. One of every player and stick it into your club. The reason you don't do more than that is you'll probably be sat on a sign for a month before EA release another League SBC. But this is just a long-term hold for quite what can be quite a big game. We, a lot of the boys in the Discord all invest in Benevento defenders. And by the time Benevento rose, we all sold our, sil our silvers off about 6 to 7k each, having spent less than 1,000 coins. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out that Benevento being that expensive. If you've got 20 Benevento players sat in your club or 15 Benevento players sat in your club, for a 15k spend, you're getting 75,000 coins back from one team. So it's hella profitable. But... When we do the League SBCs, they only have a specific formation that you can use. So sometimes you might get a three at the back, sometimes you might get a four at the back, sometimes you might need two strikers, one striker. But the positions you know you're definitely going to need is a goalkeeper, obviously, centre-backs, obviously, central midfielders, obviously, and you're going to need a striker. You're guaranteed to need those positions. Every single formation in the game relies upon those formations in any way, shape or form. So the simplistic thing that we do is we'll go positions here and we'll look at centre-back, for example, for Cadiz. And they have five of them. Go and buy one of each of these cards and leave them in your club. Now, ignore the prices here. They are not accurate. They do not get updated very often on Footbin. But go and buy one of each of these cards here from Cadiz and leave them sat in your club for as long as you can until the SBC comes out. Forget they exist. Doesn't matter. The other side of that as well is if you plan on doing the League SBC and you're not League SBC grinding, leave them in your club. Because then when the SBC comes out, you're doing the SBC for about next to nothing, for 100k for all of the league, rather than 400k that it ends up costing eventually. And again, I'll just get rid of centre-backs here. And then what I'll do is I'll check positions and I'll go CDM, CM, CAM. Now, you know you're definitely going to need at least two centre midfielders, possibly three. So again, you've got the one goal one here. We ignore him. But there are six players here you can go and buy one of, especially if we get silver supplied during squad battles. Go and get one of each of those cards there. There's seven cards sat in your club, stacked up, ready to go. And again, finally, we go strikers. And we say, okay, cool. That's my midfielders. We don't want that. We want position. Striker. Where is that? There we go. So strikers here, they've got the Grado here. Now, would I advise going, going in hard on strikers? No, because it might only be a one striker formation. But if you're getting these cards for 400 coins, they will rise in value when the SBC comes out no matter what happens. It doesn't matter. So go and buy one of each of these and stick them in your club. You've then got, from Cadiz alone, you've got like, what, 13, 14 players sat invest in your club and you can go, okay, cool. They will rise when the SBC comes out. They don't rise straight away. You have to hold them a little bit longer, but they do well. And again, the final one to look at is goalkeeper. They only have bronze and silver goalkeepers. Go and buy one of each. Stick them in your club. And we move on to the next team. And we look at this as, a, as a I Elche. As, I don't pronounce it, sorry for Spanish, but I think it's Elche. Um, again, they've got a CDM and a left back. So you know you can go flick on the positions here and go, okay, cool. What strikers do they have? Let me go and buy one of every single one of these strikers. Even the bronzes, they do rise in value as well. Let me go buy one of each of these ones here. Be careful. These ones here that are very expensive. The price hasn't been updated on them, but I would, I would assume they've been translate, uh, transferred out of the game. So don't buy ones that are that expensive. Again, if you're looking here, 600, 650 coins, you're going to make profit out of them if you buy that. It's really, really easy. It isn't hard. And you keep running it again. CDM, CM cams, you're going to need them. They've got one here. All of these guys can be bought. Go again through, centre back. All of these guys can be bought. And you just keep doing that, basically, for each team in each league. Where you have to be a little bit careful, though, is someone like Huesca. Huesco have got a goalkeeper and two centre-backs that, that are all gold. You don't want to buy more centre-backs in the hope that they might get a, third, a formation with three of them. There's no point doing that. They've got a left mid in the cam. So left mid means I would avoid any wingers whatsoever. Um, and left backs, because they will rise, but it'll be slower. They've got one cam, so you're, you're probably safe with your CDMs. But again, another position for these guys that's going to be very good is strikers. Because they have only got uh, silver strikers. That's all they've got. So one of each of these strikers is perfectly fine to pretty much guarantee your profit. Then we head over to the Premier League and we look at someone like Fulham. Now, Fulham, for example, have got a goalkeeper that is gold. They have got a centre mid, a centre mid, and another centre mid that are gold. A striker that is gold, a right back that is gold, a centre back that is gold, a winger and a cam. 
To me, Fulham's one of those iffy ones. And all I would really do on a punt for Fulham is look at their left backs and maybe their centre backs. Because you've got so many goal players in that team, you can probably fill that team up relatively easily without having to use silvers. So if we go position on them and let's have a look at left backs. Joe Bryan, Robinson and Apoku, these are the ones realistically you want to buy. Do you want to buy them at 4,000 coins? Hell no. Maximum 1,000 coins, if that, for Fulham, because it is a bit of a punt on that one. You're punting on them getting a, le a left back in their formation. But left backs for Fulham could do quite well if they're needed, but do not pay that much for them. It is stupid. You'll lose coins. There's no point doing it. Uh, but looking at the rest of the Premier League teams, we've got uh, Leeds. So they've got Rodrigo as a striker. Don't let that put you off too much, though, because we've got a couple of weeks of him being inflated, and not many people want to put a 3,000 coin gold in their team, but they will. But just remember, because there is a gold striker there, the, the strikers will have a ceiling price. And by a ceiling price, we mean they'll only rise a certain amount in value. Um, they've got two centre-backs that are both gold. So you have to be mindful of that. They've got a cam, a CDM. So really here for Leeds, the punts are really going to be the full-backs, the wingers. So I think they're left wing-backs for Leeds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, full-backs, they're wingers, and a goalkeeper. Because the goalkeepers for Leeds, again, are all, both of them, in fact, are silver. And so you can buy one of these each, stick them in your club and whatnot, stick a few in transfer party if you're that bothered. But again, the goalkeepers are a relatively solid punt because you have to use a silver goalkeeper. Last year, Leicester, I think it was, had a had Kasper Schmeichel, who was consistently six, 7,000 coins. So Jakubovic and Danny Ward, I think it was, their goalkeepers got as high as, high as five, 6,000 coins at a time because they were the only ones that weren't Kasper Schmeichel and they were both silver. And then we head over to West Brom. They've got a left back, a right mid, a cam, and a goalkeeper. So again, I would be looking at their centre midfielders here. I'd be looking at the strikers here. I'd be looking at the centre backs here. Now, question mark is when do we pick them up? Best times realistically to pick them up are sort of late at night when you can bid on these players. Sometimes you can get them for discard value. I've done it a fair few times this year. And that's always a good place to start. Or whenever we get heavy silver supply. So squad battle rewards, you'll see heavy silver supply. You can buy into these cards relatively easily without too much stress. Uh, marquee matchups on a Thursday. A lot of silver supply really crashes the market down on these guys. And again, really easy to pick up and really easy to pick up on bids. Um, and then rewards, div rival rewards and things like that. You, people get sort of silvers as part of their pack rewards and that. So that's always a good place to look as well to pick up these deals. Now, I know a lot of you are sitting there. I keep getting the questions. When do I sell my Bundesliga silvers? When the SBC comes out, we get supply. EA have been bringing them out with market matchups. So it brings the market down. Um, but the supply tends to dry up three or four days after the initial supply comes out. So... For the Bundesliga Silvers, for example, you're looking at something like Sunday, Monday, I think is going to be the best time to start selling them if we don't get any supply on Saturday or Sunday. Um, for these guys here, you have two chances to sell them. The first is in the initial hype when the SBC first comes out. A lot of the cards get up to 4 or 5k before coming down again um, as everyone mass lists them up, so you can sell them there. Or again, you can hold to 4 or 5 days after the SBC comes out and then you sell them for a very, very, very big profit. We're not talking 20%, 30% here, we're talking... 400, 500% profit on some cards. Again, Benevento, I was picking up their defenders for 1K. I ended up flipping them for 7,500, I think, when I came to sell them. And it's a really easy place to put not very many coins. If you're sitting there thinking, right, I've got 500K, let me invest 100K somewhere, this is your play. Make sure you only buy one of each, though. And again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you go to position CDM, CM Cam for West Brom, you've got four players there alone. Go to position Strikers for West Brom, you've got six of them there alone. And so it, it doesn't sound like a lot when I'm telling you to buy one of each, but it does add up to a lot of cards in your club that are stocked up and very big profit in the long, long term. Very, very big profit. Uh, but again, hopefully this video has helped you out, guys. It's another one you guys have asked for. I try and make my content be led by you guys, bring out videos that you guys actually want to see. Um, but as always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe down below. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.